Good everyone and welcome you back to another episode of um, our Crash Chemistry course and today we were talking about water. In the previous episode we talked about um, air and um, reactions of air. So today we are talking about the, the um, test, how to test for water, talking about the reaction of water and then we are talking about types of water which are hard and soft water. So basically we have um, different tests for water and one of those tests is when, basically when you, when you, um, when you dip um, the, a substance you don't know whether the water substance contains water. Well, when you dip it inside the um, copper tetrax, so it's six crystals. Copper, yes, copper, copper tetra, copper tetra, so it's six crystals. That's CuSO4. When you dip it into those um, crystals, when you expose them to the um, substance, the unknown substance, and they change from white to um, to blue. So that shows that there's presence of water. So an, another another test for water is whenever you dip um, a substance containing um, um, an unknown substance when you dip it into um, cobalt chloride, another one containing cobalt chloride. So and and that's cobalt chloride when it changes from blue to pink, that also shows that water is present. So those are test for water. Next, we're talking about um, the reactions of water. Now, water is in the air, right? Water is in water is in water vapor, and water reacts with different substances. For example, whenever you have sodium, a sodium a sodium metal, whenever you put sodium in water, it darts about, it jumps about in the water, and then when it jumps about, it finally dissolves, and then it forms what's known as sodium hydroxide. So, and then that is basically represented by Na, the solid Na plus H2O, will react to form sodium hydroxide NaOH plus, plus H2O. So, this is an example of... Um, of um, this reaction, and even if you are not sure of the reaction, you can even test your. You can you can you can carry out the reactions in an in in an inverted um, tube, and then you can test for the resulting gas. So whenever I test for it, you always have hydrogen produced. That is an example of um, reactions involving water. Another example of reactions involving water: whenever you react the potassium with water, so potassium can react with water to form um, to form potassium hydroxide, just like sodium. It's also from potassium hydroxide and hydrogen and then when you have calcium so calcium also reacts with water to form calcium hydroxide and hydrogen and these are these are basically the um, three main major um, um group um one elements which reacts with water to form and specific calcium is in group two and when it reacts with water it forms calcium hydroxide you can also test for calcium hydroxide whenever you um it turns um whenever you react with uh, with um with with carbon dioxide it form it forms a milky um, solution so that's how you test for calcium hydroxide so and then we have uh, when um water reacts with magnesium it also forms um, magnesium oxide and hydrogen but this time around not magnesium hydroxide it only forms magnesium oxide so and this setup is when whenever you have whenever you want to react them together you basically put a, a ribbon of magnesium in in a in, in a test tube and then you blow a little bit of wool at the um, base of the test tube and then when you expel the air and you allow the magnesium to react with the steam you can see that the the, the reaction involves the production of magnesium oxide when you have mg plus h2 you get a magnesium oxide and hydrogen gas form so this is just an example of the reaction of water with different compounds and water reacts with not just metals water reacts with non-metals Water reacts with every and most chemical. That's why we often react with fast water as a universal solvent. Now, next we're we'll talking about different types of water, and there are two major types of water. Yes, there's what is called your hard water and your soft water. Your hard water is basically a water that contains calcium, calcium tetrox, calcium tetrox sulfate six um, ions or particles. So basically, when you are, whenever you have calcium um, salt or magnesium salt of tetrox of seeds in water that form it forms hard water and also whenever you have calcium hydrogen trisocarbonate salt in water the form it forms um, ha, um hard water so and then salt water in salt water it does not salt water does not contain these um tetrox of six um ions and compounds it's it's free of them but the hard water there are two types of hard water so they are the ones that contain the only the um or, or majorly the um tetrox of six salt of calcium and magnesium and those are called permanently hard water then the one that contains the, the bicarbonate um, salt of calcium or rather you call it um, calcium hydrogen trisocarbonate four so all those ones that ca ca co3 those are for those form temp, uh, um, temporarily hard water and those temporary hard water you can you can remove them by boiling and by addition of um, a, an, a a caustic um, 
caustic alkaline salt for example something like sodium hydroxide uh, or calcium hydroxide but permanently hard water cannot be cannot be um cannot be um, removed the hardness of permanent water cannot be removed by simple boiling but you have to add add something like um calcium trisocarbonate or you can have to add um so um calcium um hydroxide or you have to make use of chemical um, um chemical permittance methods whenever you have to the, um, the the exchange and displacement of ions so in 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 essence that um carbon calcium calcium um sulfate um, compound it it exchanges its ion with another permitted substance to form a non a non hard substance so whenever the exchange your water is 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 devoid of that um, calcium tetrachloride six ion or magnesium tetrachloride six ion so and that is those are just methods of removing hardness of water you also have clax method those are all methods of removing hardness of water but this hard water whether hard or soft there are different advantages for example your rainwater is majorly soft water because it forms a lot of easy easy ladder with water when you when you base with rainwater you can see that the rainwater forms um it's the rainwater actually forms a lot of ladder with and it's always difficult to base with the rainwater but water from well water from um from mineral from underground sources they always contain all this calcium and magnesium salts and they are also known as hard water so they have their different advantages for example hard water can be used to um to um like for the edification when you drink hard water you can you can take those salts and they nourish the body and also hard but this disadvantage of it is that hard water is very difficult to wash with so whenever you want to wash clothes and you use hard water you just end up wasting your soap so in summary we've talked about um, the test for water where we use um, cash, um, cop, um copper tetrachloride six or we use um, cobalt chloride then we'll talk about the reactions of copper with different elements then lastly we'll talk about the nature of water and types of water involving hard water and soft water so thank you for watching